Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter and in this video I would like to show you a sequential shifter mod I made for the Trustmaster TH8RS. So just recently I found this design by um, somebody called Duke13 on the Thingiverse and I have to say I really really like the idea. Um, the thing is that first of all I didn't have all the parts needed for the assembly and also I find this one a bit bulky um, and on top of that there's a bunch of other aspects I don't really like that much. So I made my own version um, and I just want to point out that this is not a remix so I designed this one from scratch um, I was just strongly inspired by what uh, Duke 13 did. The model consists of two parts. The main plate, which is uh, mounted on top of the shifter with, of course, the thumb screws. And the shifting mechanism that connects to the plate using the four M3 screws, just right here, so it goes one on top of the other, and we have some small cutouts for the nuts in the back as well. It has two levels of resistance. First is a spring, which is roughly 20 millimeters long, and is originally uh, used for bed leveling in 3D printers. And the second are these spring ball screws. They are responsible for the initial resistance when the gear is being changed. So the uh, shifter shaft goes through in the middle and when moving it one way or the other, it has to squeeze in through the um, a pair of these um, metal balls. Um, so that creates initial resistance. And in addition, it makes a pretty cool sound. Um, but I'll, I'll show you that in, in a moment. And apart from that, um, there's a couple of additional features. Um, but in order to show you these, we have to jump into uh, Fusion 360. Okay, so here's the model of the sequential mod. And as you can see, in the middle, there's this piece, let me hide the body. So it is responsible for holding the springs on both ends. And at the same time, it has a cutout here in the middle that um, allows to um, put in the shaft of the uh, shifter, which uh, makes it easy to take the whole mod on and off um, without any need to realign the springs, etc. Um, so the next part um, is the spring. So I already talked about it. But then uh, at the end, we have uh, this additional small cover here um, and a mag three, six millimeter magnet inside. So you might ask, why the magnet? Well, First of all, it makes it uh, very easy to assemble the whole unit um, because it, it just holds all the metal parts together. But most importantly, it will not get damaged when being pushed by a screw. So that's in contrary to a PLA plastic that just, you know, the pressure could damage it. And the idea with this M4 screw is that you can increase the compression of the spring um, just by screwing it in. So if you feel like the default is too light for you, you can make it a bit stiffer. The screw is held in place by this M4 nut in here, and it's all being uh, covered within the body. So from the outside it just looks like this. And then if I cut it in half you can clearly see 
how the whole mechanism works. So we have this M4 screw being held in place by the nut inside the, the body of the mod, pushing on the magnet. So here is the magnet that fits into this like back cover of the spring. Then we have the spring itself and the center part that holds the shaft of the shifter. And on top we have the two cutouts for the uh, ball spring screws. And that's basically the whole idea here. As a result, I have a full flexibility on adjusting both of the resistance forces in the mod. So I can move the uh, ball screws in and out uh, to change the initial locking force of the shifter shaft. And then um, tighten the screws on both ends just to increase the linear force of the springs. I've been using this mod for a few days now and before making this video I switched to the original Transmaster sequential plate just for comparison and I have to say that right now this one it feels like total crap. I mean, literally, it's night and day when it comes to how it feels. You just re you, you just have to try it, and then, and it's very cheap to make. So, if you have an access to three D printer, just just uh, do yourself a favor and make this one. Now, here's a quick look on how it works and how it sounds. As always, all the links are in the description. Please consider subscribing if you like the video and have a great rest of the day. Bye.